Hey guys, this is Kalura Hudson of Wally Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a five stitch LPC. And this is just a left leaning cable, worked over five stitches. And if you look at our work here, we've created um, a left lean with two knit stitches, and that crosses over a purl stitch and two more knit stitches. You can see here, if I stretch out my work, there's two knit stitches, a purl stitch in the middle, and two knit stitches. So I'm gonna show you how to create this cable without using a cable needle. So I have my little swatch here, and between these sets of stitch markers, I've placed those five stitches that we're gonna be cabling. And again, we have two knit stitches on the right, two knit stitches on the left, with a purl cable in the center. And for the left leaning cable we want to cross these two knit stitches over the left side of a purl stitch and then two more knit stitches so i'm going to show you how we do that without our cable needle i'm going to go ahead and work over to that first stitch marker and i'll remove that okay so these first two stitches will be crossing over the left side of the last three so in order to do that we're just going to use our right hand needle tip instead of using a cable needle. And I would suggest using pretty sharp tips on your working needles when working cables without uh, using a cable needle. So we're gonna use that needle tip to rotate our work and slide that needle tip through the last three stitches of where we're gonna be putting our cable. So we have two at the beginning, three at the end. We're picking up those last three. We're gonna pinch these two so they don't go anywhere. We're just gonna inch off of our needle pinch those so they don't go anywhere, pull out those three, and then just scoop up those first two stitches. So if you look, we've rotated our work so that those two knit stitches are now crossing over the left side of these last three. And if you look here, I'm gonna rotate my work. We actually want that purl stitch at the beginning of our needle because it starts with two knit stitches and then a purl but we want that purl stitch over here. So to do that, we're simply going to rotate our work again, use our left needle tip this time, and insert it purl-wise, left to right, through that purl stitch. And then we're going to pull out this right-hand needle quickly and pick up those two knit stitches again. So pull out and pick up those two knit stitches. Now we'll rotate our work and place those two knit stitches back on our left-hand needle. So now, essentially, we've reworked our stitches on our left-hand needle, or we've, we've um, reorganized them. Now they can be worked. So again, we're gonna maintain that knit two, purl one, knit two. So we're gonna knit two stitches off of our left-hand needle, and then purl one, and knit two. And if you look, we have completed that left leaning five stitch purl cable without using cable needles. So I'm gonna go ahead and work over to our second stitch of uh, second set of stitch markers and show that to you again, but I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up a bit. So here's our five stitches that we're cabling. I'm gonna rotate our work and use our right hand needle tip to scoop up the last three. Pinch these first two, slide them off scoop up the first two, rotate our work, and then we want this purl stitch at the beginning. So we're gonna rotate our work, pick up that purl, pull out, scoop up, rotate it around, place it back on the left-hand needle, and now we're ready to work. Knit two, purl one, knit two. We're gonna knit one, two, Purl one, knit two. Okay, so again, we've worked that left leaning five stitch purl cable, and we've done that without using a cable needle. So I hope this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>